Um, Cowley Manor in the Cotswolds has a rich history. The land once belonged to Edward the Confessor um, and was exchanged for the site on which he built Westminster Abbey, um, built in the style of Rome's Villa Borghese, um, and the manicure gardens surrounding the property were allegedly uh, where author Lewis Carroll, um, uh, author at Tunes of East, uh, uh, got his inspiration for uh, Alice in Wonderland. And now uh, the manor, uh, just two hours from London, is open to guests as Cowley Manor Experimental, a country house hotel owned by the French Hospitality Company, uh, Experimental Group. Experimental is known for its bars. Uh, the group started with a single spot in Paris in 2007 uh, that shook up the city's cocktail scene. Uh, before Experimental, uh, most of the city's great bars were in hotels and some was reigned supreme. Experimental spot in the second arrondissement that featured craft mixology, DJ spinning tunes, and speakeasy vibes was a smash hit and started a trend that can be seen in newer buzzy bars such as Le Syndicate, uh, Time Out Paris, called Experimental, the blueprint for what makes a great cocktail bar. In 2015, the company opened its first hotel in Paris and now has more than two dozen bars, restaurants, hotels, and beach clubs from Paris to New York, like the newly opened hotel Regina Experimental Biarritz on France's southwest coast and the 500 capacity bar and live music venue Stereo in London's Covent Garden. One of the best new bars in the UK capital. Uh, Cowley is the first British project for the group outside London where it runs uh, Henrietta Hotel in uh, Covent Garden, uh, cocktail club in Chinatown, and a uh, wine bar in Seven Dials. Uh, the founders of Experimental say that uh, taking on a renovation project uh, for such a well-known uh, property in the English countryside made sense for that. Uh, we were looking at opening something in the French countryside. We know France very well, obviously, but we never got the right feel, says co-founder Romé de Gorionov. I really know the French. They don't really care as much about their countryside as the British. He says he knew that this property was super British, and brimming with history and writers that he had a high bar to clear with the local community who were very attached to it. Uh, the Cotswolds have long been a popular escape for, for Londoners. It became even more popular during the pandemic when Brits couldn't easily leave the country. The area covers that almost 800 square miles of rolling hills, picturesque villages with cobblestone streets, cozy pods, and stately homes turned hotels like Cowley. The amount of people who are now commuting between London and the Cotswolds is incredible. Yeah, it's a lot of people are looking for an excuse to run away from London for the weekend. And what those London exiles will find in Cowley Manor Experimental is 55 acres of gently rolling hills, a lake that wouldn't be out of place in a Jane Field, Austin film, an experimental cocktail club, restaurant by British chef Jackson Boxer, indoor and outdoor pools, and design inspired by the Alice in Wonderland connection. Rooms starting 250 pounds, $320 in rate. Uh, French designer Dorothy Mylixon, a uh, frequent collaborator with Experimental Group, winked at the Carol Classic in her interior design. Uh, there are hidden small doors and other references from Alice uh, in the property, both indoor and outdoor. Uh, be on the lookout for rabbits and hints of checkerboards. The group is also striving to make the property feel different from the host of members clubs that dot the Cotswolds countryside. Newly opened hotel and members club Estelle of Manor is just 15 miles away while Soho Farmhouse and the club by Bamford are around a 45 minute drive away. Uh, we want to be like a members club without uh, actual membership says Degorian off there are no applications or barriers to entry uh, what there is instead is a, a strong focus on cocktails and cuisine uh, people are coming for uh, the design and staying for the experiences says experimental group co-founder Xavier Padovani uh, most of our hotels have an experimental cocktail club says Padovani 
uh, experimental, uh, make sure to find uh, partners from the, the area to create something special for each property. And uh, the Cotswolds, they've joined up with uh, local distilleries to uh, offer cocktails such as Horlick's Milk Punch, which includes Cotswolds Single Malt Whiskey Lemon and Spiced Horlick's Malted Milk. Uh, James Torlick, one of the inventors of the eponymous beverage, once lived at Cowley. After tackling the Cotswolds, the group plans to open a hotel in the French ski village of Val d'Azur next year, and one in Rome in 2025. It's also planning to open another hotel in its home city of Paris, an all-suite property in saint germain des prés with the same designers as London's celebrity-favorite hotel, Children Firehouse. What are you doing the book for those episodes? Cotswolds here are recommendations. By, uh, visit a local spirits maker. Uh, we work with both Caprilis Distillery and the Cotswolds Distillery, and both are very good distillers. Um, at Caprilis, um, the owner is brilliant, and his raspberry eau de vie uh, is incredible. We're using it in our cocktails at the Experimental Cocktail Club at Cowley Manor. Um, the Cotswolds Distillery uh, makes our house whiskey. Um, we um, have a meal in a country pub. Baboot and Barnsley is everything you'd expect and want from a countryside pub. Uh, the food is great and the service is, is very relaxed. Uh, the Angel Erford is also highly recommended. Uh, take home local crafts. Um, Winchcombe Pottery is one of the largest craft pottery shops in England. Um, on a site that dates to the early 1800s, they have amazing artists. Um, would have used their pieces in the restaurant at Cali. It's a must visit. Explore the Honeystone, the Cotswolds Villages, Stowe, Burn on the Water, Broadway, Bedford, Ivory, Little Slaughter are all amazing little villages. And a must to visit on any trip to the Cotswolds. My favorite would be Borton on the Water. It's referred to as the Venice of the Cotswolds due to its bridges. I have a stroll in an enchanted garden. Uh, originally designed in the 1700s as a garden for Payne's Rick House, the Rococo Garden, it is open to the public. Um, uh, we saw, my colleagues, we saw that farms and we just saw uh, Rudge Gid and, uh, uh, in, in uh, uh, Lowe's and in, in, in part of an echelon civility 